So if you haven't installed GStreamer, you can just go to their website. Oh, in the left-hand side on the pull-down window, there's installing GStreamer. So if you're running a Raspberry Pi camera, highlight all that and then right-click and then copy and then paste it into your terminal. And then you would right-click and then paste. And then take your right arrow key and that's going to clear out the highlight. So I'm going to go all the way to the front and sudo. And then I'm just going to say app. And there we go. Is already the newest version. There we go right there. Um, and I'll show you where the plugins are. So plugins, if you go up to the API references and then go down and pick GStreamer plugins right there. And all these plugins on the left-hand side, just take a look at them. And you can just scroll through them. And there's quite a bit of them. And then there's some information inside these plugins that are like, uh, you have to really take a look. So a common one, the XI Image Sync. So if you click on that, you're going to get all this information. Okay, so if we were to highlight this launch, you can copy these. Highlight them, right click, do a copy. So open up the terminal, right click, do a paste, and hit your right arrow key, clear out of the, the highlight. So here we have Video Test RC. So this is your source and exclamation to uh, separate the elements. We have a queue right here, and then we have XI Image Sync. So I'm going to test that out. Sure enough, a slight delay, but it's we're doing we're working on the Raspberry Pi and and it's it's a module five Raspberry Pi so it's the information is pretty good and you're also doing read writes on an SD card so it's a little slower I think what I'll do later on is actually copy the SD card up into an SSD that's sitting on a hat on the Raspberry Pi and uh, I know that read writes are going to be uh, a lot quicker we'll cover some more information about elements and pads and um, also properties in the next video. Welcome to tutorial number one on GStreamer pipelines. And this is the intro to uh, a lecture that I'm putting together to help other individuals that are working with a Raspberry Pi and a camera. Over on the left hand side, you'll see this is the RPI camera source and it's video. So we're talking again about video. And then this first area right here is our source element. And then this, the rectangle in the middle, that is just an element. And that could be anything. It could be a plug-in. It could be a filter um, of some sorts. Okay. And then on the very far right, that is our sink. Okay. Everything flows downstream in the pipeline. And the set of interconnected elements all come down to and we're producing uh, finally at the sink on the far right hand side. So the way that GStreamer is built is that um, basically there's a source element, there could be a uh, queue element, there could be a audio convert element, um, a audio convert element. I mean there's there's hundreds. And so just to give you an idea of the general principle of how things work, you can see up here so there's a sync with the green square, and then there's the SRC standing for the source, and that is a blue square. So on the first element here, you have uh, a source element, and then on the source element, there's what they call the source pad. And that pad connects to the next element's sync pad. So you go from a source pad to a sync pad. And this is all designed into GStreamer. So your source, all that information, the data that's going from one element going to the pad, it has to uh, go to the next element, whatever's to the right of that element, it's going to link up. And then there's going to be this communication between the two. And if they're happy, then it's going to work. But if there's something they're saying, hey, look, you know, I don't understand what you're talking about. So nothing's going to happen. It's just going to drop and your program's not going to work. And so the pipeline is going to get disconnected. You'll get a uh, error message of some sort. So we start from the source element. We go into the middle. We have that sync pad. And then in the middle element, there's also a source pad 
that is connected to the sink pad on the far right of the pipeline. The last element is going to be your sink. So you have a sink there and this, you, there's a single sink pad at the end. So what you're looking at here is we have, again, we have the camera source, which is Raspberry Pi camera. And then right to the right of that, we have V4L2 source. There's an H.264 uh, source, and there's also uh, the audio video source. And these are, for example, some of the sources that you'll find in the plugins. And then we're going to take a look at just for further explanation. We have the source element, which is the, the first element in your pipeline. And then for me, working with the Raspberry Pi camera, that is Lib Camera Source SRC. And so in this big rectangle that you see in the middle here, this is the pad template. And I'll show you, I'll bring it up in the terminal and actually run GST Inspect 1.0 on the Lib Camera Source here in a second. But the capabilities or caps of a pad specify what can enter and what can leave an element. So that's why pads are really important. And in order for two elements to be linked together, um, they must share a common sub subset of capabilities. Um, you need to know the pad caps of the elements or the capability of the elements. And so in order to do that, you need to get into your terminal on your Raspberry Pi, and then you need to run this um, GST inspect uh, 1.0 on whatever your source is. And again, that source for you could be um, any kind of source. So, and you, you can run the inspect on any element. It's going to give you information. So let's take a look at that. So I want to show you, uh, to get to some information for the GStreamer, um, just go to the website and then go to get started. And you can see over the left-hand side are some window, drop-down windows here. Where you want to go is go to the tutorials. And then underneath tutorials, go to basic tutorials, and they have all these down here. Not all of these are going to be in Python. Some of the, most of these are going to be in a, a C++ language. But if you go into like the Hello World, and then you just go up here, go to language, and then hit Python, it'll change it over to Python. And then go down to GStreamer Tools, and this is what I want to show you. If you go down, this is the one we're going to use right now. Um, it's GST-inspect-1.0. Let's take a look at that. All right, so here we are. We're in the Raspberry Pi and going into the terminal. And we're going to use that tool. So GST-inspect-1.0. And then what I'm going to inspect is the source. So my source and my setup is the camera. And so I'm putting in lib camera and then SRC, I'm going to open that up. And then I'm going to open this a little larger here so you can take a look at it. So it gives you all these factory details you can take a look at. The Linux camera source using Lib Camera. And then down here we have a plugin. That plugin is the Lib Camera. So you can see here that pads are very important. So for the source, we have these what you know pad templates. And the pad template um, is SRC. It, the, the availability is always. And then what are the capabilities? It tells you right here underneath capabilities. So you have video x-ray, you have image JPEG, you have video x bayer and then the type is GST lib camera pad. So this is the pad for the lib camera. Okay. And then down here you have properties. Now the properties you can put in for the lib camera. Okay. So for this lib camera source, that has this pad, and that's where all the all the information goes. You know that, that goes through it, and it, uh, that's what the, one of the principal things for the pad. And so you have the pad properties, and it's a stream role, and then the selected stream role. Well, you have uh, readable, writable, and then here you have a you can set up properties for it. So you have still capture, video recording, um, viewfinder. So just as an example. So then if you go down even further, then you can see that we have this right here. So all this information right here. So on the pads for the source, uh, we have these element properties. 
and you can put in your AE constraint mode. You can put in um, the AE enable, the AE uh, exposure mode. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. So look through this stuff. We'll just hit the down arrow key here. So just keep going. So just to give you an idea, just go through that. And that's going to give you a lot of good information. If you're going to run code and in your terminal, uh, there is a tool. And this is just for debugging purposes. So if I do GFT, this I'm doing, doing this out of the top of my head. So I have a video test SRC. And then you put a exclamation point and that divides the elements. So instead of putting a comma, you need to put in GStreamer, you need to put an exclamation point to divide the elements. So that is your our source there. And then we're going to use uh let's just video convert. I think that is. And then we'll do uh auto video because we're working with video and then we'll do auto video sync and that's the final and I think this may be a string nope so there you have it so you can actually go in there and you can throw out these pre-built um, elements that have their pads configured so this right here it, this video test RC is built so it's automatically going to downstream work with the video convert and the video convert is automatically going to work with the auto video sync. So it's uh, pretty cool the way this is set up. And then we have this little, this is some snow down here in the right hand corner. So that's working pretty well. So just as an example.